Three Jacksonville video stores raided after a long police investigation of synthetic drugs. Police have not said much so far about their raids on three smokers video stores, but their show of force was huge. The sheriff's office says the investigation led to multiple arrests and search warrants being served. One of the stores is on the west side on Normandy Boulevard near Lenox. Another is on Emerson Street in Spring Park. The third is on Beach Boulevard, not far from Southside Boulevard. We were the first at the scene of these raids this morning, and we are staying on top of the developments. Our coverage begins with Channel 4's Jim Piggott on the south side. Jim. You know, this is the smoker's video behind me here, and it's been closed all day because of those raids. As you mentioned, we're not getting much information at this point. We're hoping to hear more tomorrow when the Attorney General of Florida's Attorney General Pam Bondi is going to be in town and talk about this, and they're worried what they're going to talk about is they say that synthetic drugs were actually sold here. And she's been very outspoken about synthetic drugs coming out on Monday saying that they can kill around here as well. Now, let me kind of tell you what we do know so far. As you had mentioned, the smokers video here on Beach Boulevard was one of those that was raided, the other on Emerson Street and also on Normandy. Now, the one on Emerson Street, Emerson Street, as we were there, there was an arrest that took place. We understand that search warrants were issued, but officials with JSO would not say how many people had been arrested so far. So we know of at least one, at least that was taken away in a police car there. Now, they've been working at this since 10 a.m. this morning. That's when they first came out here and at the other locations. And they said that the reason that they wanted us to know about us today is because so many people saw the raids and they had a lot of questions. We wanted to let people know we were getting multiple calls and we wanted to let people know briefly what we could release at this time to let people know um, the search warrants have been served, it's been safe, um, and the investigation is ongoing. So what's happening now? Well, we're told that this is an ongoing investigation. There have been police inside all day. They did remove a few things, and there are some officers that were still there working, but they really wouldn't let us see what they were doing at that point. Now, coming up, I'll do it at 6 o'clock. I talked to people around here, and they talk about the people that were drawn to these synthetic drugs and what they say it was like working around here. We're live on the south side, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. That Beach Boulevard store is just one of three smokers video locations in Jacksonville. Channel 4's Kamasi Aaron joins us live from the store in Emerson. She spoke to our crime and safety analyst as well. Kamasi. I did speak with him he, a little bit later in the day. Most of the day was this parking lot full of police officers. We even saw a person here being arrested. So a lot of activity and a lot of people coming up to me asking me what was going on. And when I told them that there was a raid here, they told me they weren't surprised. Today we watched as police brought box after box after box outside of Smoker's video on Emerson Street. All evidence in a crackdown, police say, on the sale of synthetic drugs. How did you feel when you walked up and you saw that this place is being raided? I'm glad it is. Frank Salmon says synthetic drugs, specifically K2 or Spice, is a big issue in this area. How bad is the problem? It's pretty bad. Yeah. There's a lot of people around here on it. Not only are synthetic drugs dangerous, but they're illegal. Jacksonville police say they've been investigating the sale of those drugs and this store for a while. I spoke with News for Jack's crime and safety analyst, Gil Smith. Gil, a lot led up to what we see happening here now. That's right. We're, they're at the end of the investigation at this point, or toward the tail end of it. Um, whenever you're dealing with some type of drug bust, even though it's synthetic marijuana, it's still illegal. So this has been a long process where they may have had informants come in, making purchases, getting names and dates, getting all their ducks in a row for the court proceeding. Today, police made a move, not just on this smoker's video store, but two others. So why do all three of these stores at the same time? Of course, all three would be involved if they're doing all three stores. The reason they do them all together, because if they did just one store, then the other stores could be tipped off and it would give them time to get rid of any evidence that may be there in the store. With more details to come from investigators, people here say they're just glad the store is closed for now. And it, it creates a lot of crime around here, just, you know. Uh, it used to be good around here 10 years ago, uh, but this place moved in and ever since. And state and local agencies are involved in this investigation. Gil Smith told me that's an indication that this just not confined to Duval County, but is more widespread. Reporting live, Kamasi Aaron, Channel 4, the local station.